Welcome back, Wilberforce. One more week of lockdown behind us and hopefully one more week closer to returning to a bit of normality. Um, last week we started to look at the three C's of Wilberforce. Uh, we started with courage um, and we looked at that amazing quote from Winston Churchill. Success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. And that leads us nicely into this week's C, um, which is commitment. Um, now, Commitment is a state of being... Uh, dedicated to a cause or activity. Now, Wilberforce had the courage to continue or courage to stay committed to his faith, his values, um, and then more specifically, um, the campaign to abolish the slave trade. Now, Wilberforce was so committed that uh, he campaigned or was involved in the campaign for about 45 years before the bill was eventually passed in 1833. Um, and when the bill was passed, um, three days later, Wilberforce died. Um, so it cost him a, it cost him a lot, but at least he managed to see that momentous achievement uh, before he passed away. Now I was going to illustrate this in a very different way, um, but today I, I found out um, uh, some sad news that a, a great man had passed away, um, and I'd like to share some of his story with you. Um, this man was Dennis Goldberg, who was Mr. Goldberg's grandfather. Um, and if you want to read more about this, it's on the BBC website. He's quite famous. Um, Dennis Goldberg was an anti-apartheid activist and he was put on trial alongside Nelson Mandela and sentenced to prison for 22 years. Um, and for those who don't know, the apartheid was like a legalised form of racism um, in South Africa where white people were privileged above others. So you can imagine Mr. Goldberg was a white man uh, fighting for this cause um, and he could have quite easily looked the other way um, and avoided prison and and the rest of the uh, negative things that came with it but this is a quote from him this is what he said he came from a generation who were prepared to put lives on the line for freedom freedom is more important than your own life uh, Mr Goldberg was actually telling me that when he received the sentence um, he was actually expecting a death sentence um, rather than the 22 years. So he's more than prepared to put his own life on the line to fight for um, fight for freedom and, and civil rights. Um, now, what two great examples of commitment we've got there? One, William Wilberforce um, camp campaigning to abolish the slave trade. Um, and then you've got uh, Dennis Goldberg standing up against uh, apartheid. But one thing I hope that you've noticed from that is that uh, there's a definite cost to what they did. The commitment wasn't an easy thing. It, it cost something from them. Wilberforce's commitment cost him his health, his friends, uh, let alone his, the, the time given and the hard work. For Mr Goldberg, um, it would cost him, well, at least 22 years, if not more hardships. Now, whether you're committing yourself to sort of politics or becoming a professional athlete or securing a good job, there's always going to be a cost involved. So bear that in mind. There's always going to be a cost. Now, the older you get, the more commitments you'll have. Um, I'm a husband. I'm a father. I'm an employee. I'm a member of a church. I have to pay rent and bills every month. Gentlemen, our hope and ambition for you as young men attending the Fulham Boys School is, of course, to help you improve academically. But more important than that is that you become men of character and commitment so that when you become employees or fathers or husbands, you can fulfill these roles to the best of your abilities. And hopefully what you learn in school and the challenges that you overcome in school uh, will help you towards that. Now, I want to finish with a quote from Wilberforce himself about what we've talked about. It's quite a powerful quote. I've sort of paraphrased it to put it in sort of uh, understandable modern English. Um, here we go. Is it not the aim of religion, and in particular, the glory of Christianity, to extinguish evil, to make us compassionate and kind, and forgiving one to another, to make us good husbands, good fathers, good friends, to make us active and useful in our duties? Now, gentlemen, we may not all take stands like Wilberforce or Dennis Goldberg, but I hope that all of us can learn something from the commitment um, that they showed. Stay safe, and we'll speak next week.